Dugald Stewart, the 22nd of November 1753 to the 11th of June 1828, was a Scottish philosopher and mathematician. He is best known for popularizing the Scottish Enlightenment and his lectures at the University of Edinburgh were widely disseminated by his many influential students. In 1783 he was a joint founder of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. In most contemporary documents he is referred to as Professor Dougal Stewart. <laughs> Early life He was the son of Matthew Stewart (1715–1785), professor of mathematics at the University of Edinburgh (1747–1772), and was born in his father's quarters at Old College. His mother was Marjorie Stewart, his father's cousin. He was educated at the high school and the University of Edinburgh, where he studied mathematics and moral philosophy under Adam Ferguson. In 1771, in the hope of gaining a Snell Exhibition scholarship and proceeding to Oxford to study for the English Church, he went to the University of Glasgow to attend the classes of Thomas Reed. To Reed he later owed his theory of morality. In Glasgow, Stuart boarded in the same house as Archibald Allison, author of the essay on taste, and a lasting friendship sprang up between them. After a single session in Glasgow University, at the age of 19, Dugald was asked by his father, whose health was beginning to fail, to give his mathematical classes in the University of Edinburgh. After three years there, in 1775, Dugald was elected joint professor of mathematics in conjunction with his father. Three years later Ferguson was appointed secretary to the commissioners sent out to the American colonies, and at his request Stuart lectured as his substitute during the session 1778-1779, delivering an original course of lectures on morals. In his early years he was influenced by Lord Monbado, with whom he corresponded. <laughs> Professor at Edinburgh In 1785 Stuart succeeded Ferguson in the chair of moral philosophy, which he filled for 25 years, making it a centre of intellectual and moral influence. Young men were attracted by his reputation from England, Europe and America. Stuart's course on moral philosophy embraced, besides ethics proper, lectures on political philosophy or the theory of government. Stuart spent the summers of 1788 and 1789 in France, where he met Sward, de Garando, and Reynal, and came to sympathize with the revolutionary movement. His political teaching, after the French Revolution, drew suspicion on him. From 1800 to 1801, Stuart gave lectures to undergraduate students on the subject of political economy, the first person to do so. In 1800 he appears as Dougald Stuart, Professor of Moral Philosophy, living at Lothian House near the bottom of the Canongate. <laughs> Later life In 1806 Stuart received in lieu of a pension the nominal office of the writership of the Edinburgh Gazette, with a salary of £300. When he ceased lecturing during the session of 1809-1810, his place was taken, at his own request, by Thomas Brown, who in 1810 was appointed conjoint professor. On the death of Brown in 1820 Stuart retired altogether from the professorship. His successor was John Wilson, known as Christopher North. From 1809 onwards Stuart lived mainly at Keneal House, Bonus, which was placed at his disposal by the Duke of Hamilton. In June 1814 he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. He was elected a Foreign Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1817. In 1822 he was struck with paralysis, but recovered a fair degree of health, sufficient to enable him to resume his studies. He died in Edinburgh on the 11th of June 1828, where he was buried in Canongate Churchyard, close to his Edinburgh residence. He is buried in an enclosed vault in the lower section, on its west side. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Memorials. In 1831, and of great public note, a monument was erected by the city on Calton Hill. This is to a design by William Henry Playfair and holds a commanding position in the city skyline, forming one of the city's iconic landmarks. His memory is also honored by the Dugald Stewart Building, erected 2011 for the University of Edinburgh to house its philosophy department on Charles Street off George Square. Topic: 
Topic: Works. Stewart as a student in Glasgow wrote an essay on dreaming. In 1792 he published the first volume of The Elements of the Philosophy of the Human Mind, the second volume appeared in 1814, the third not till 1827. In 1793 he printed a textbook, Outlines of Moral Philosophy, which went through many editions, and in the same year he read before the Royal Society of Edinburgh his account of the life and writings of Adam Smith. Similar memoirs of Robertson the historian and of Reed were afterwards read before the same body and appear in his published works. In 1805, Stuart published pamphlets defending John Leslie against the charges of unorthodoxy made by the Presbytery of Edinburgh. In 1810, appeared the Philosophical Essays, in 1814, the second volume of The Elements, in 1811, the first part, and in 1821, the second part of the Dissertation, written for the Encyclopaedia Britannica supplement, entitled a general view of the progress of metaphysical, ethical, and political philosophy since the revival of letters. In 1827, he published the third volume of The Elements, and in 1828, a few weeks before his death, The Philosophy of the Active and Moral Powers, Stuart's works were edited in eleven vols, 1854 to 1858, by Sir William Hamilton and completed with a memoir by John Veitch. Influence Among Stuart's pupils were Lord Palmerston, Sir Walter Scott, Francis Jeffrey, Henry Thomas Cockburn, Francis Horner, Sidney Smith, John William Ward, Lord Brougham, Dr. Thomas Brown, James Mill, Sir James Mackintosh, and Sir Archibald Allison. His reputation rested as much on his eloquence, populism, and style as on original work. He was principally responsible for making the Scottish philosophy predominant in early 19th century Europe. In the second half of the century, Stuart's reputation fell to that of a follower of the work of Thomas Reed. Stuart upheld Reed's psychological method and expounded the Scottish common sense realism, which was attacked by James Mill and John Stuart Mill. Part of his originality lay in his incorporation of elements of moderate empiricism and the French ideologists La Romaguere, Cabanis and Distut de Tracy. He opposed the argument of ontology, and Condillac's sensationalism. Immanuel Kant, he said, he could not understand. Family In 1783 Stuart married Helen Bannatyne a distant cousin, who died in 1787, leaving him an only son, Matthew Stuart Frse in 1790 he married Helen Darcy Cranstoon, sister of George Cranstoon. His second wife was well-born and accomplished, and he was in the habit of submitting to her criticism whatever he wrote. They had a son and a daughter. The son's death in 1809 brought about his retirement from the active duties of his chair. His sister, Janet Stewart, married Rev. Thomas Miller of Cumnock, and they were parents to Dr. Patrick Miller F.R.S.E. 1782 1871. 